Bonjour à tous and welcome to Learn French with Vincent and this is Unité 6, Leçon A. And in this lesson we'll discover together les démonstratifs. Les démonstratifs, so we'll see two types of démonstratifs. The first one will be adjectif, démonstratif, okay? And then the second one will be pronom démonstratif. All right, so let's start. So we'll see for the adjective demonstrative, the masculine singular form, feminine singular form, masculine plural form, and then feminine plural form. Okay, masculin singulier, féminin singulier, masculin pluriel, and then féminin pluriel. So let's see how they are. So when we talk about les demonstratifs, technically it would be translated in English like this. Okay, uh, but then of course we've got in French the difference between the masculine and the feminine form, and then masculine plural and feminine plural. Okay, so we'll see them now. The first one, so for the masculine, so this this okay adjective will be translated in French with ce, so it's the basic form, or set. Okay, so you will have to use this second option here, this set, when you will have a name or a noun after that will start whether with a vowel or then with H plus a vowel. Okay, remember this H letter in French is not really pronounced, okay, so it does it does indicate to you that when, when you get the, a word starting with the, the sound of a vowel, then you will have to use this set adjective okay and then feminine form is set like that so it's quite interesting because if you listen carefully the masculine form here set and the feminine form here set you write them differently but then you pronounce them the same way all right for the plural form so masculine plural it would be se okay and then feminine plural good news it's the same so we've got one form here se and the option set when you've got a noun starting with a vowel after and then set feminine form and for the plural you've got only one form okay and it's se okay remember open se 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 okay one example se livre so this book, okay, livre is book, uh, here livre is masculine, so you will have to use the se, okay, and then it doesn't start with the sound of a vowel, so it's the basic se, this book, ce livre. And now we've got ordinateur, ordinateur is a masculine word, means computer, okay, but then if you look carefully, it starts with O, okay, a vowel. So this se ordinateur wouldn't be possible. So we've got to use the second option, as we saw previously. So it's set, written like that, okay? Set ordinateur, this computer. Third possibility here, we've got homme, man, okay? Uh, but then O is here, we've got this H letter, remember H is not pronounced, okay, so you've got the sound of O at the beginning of this word, okay, setum, so that's the reason why you will have to use the set, so it's masculine, but still setum. So now, feminine word, femme, woman, no problem about that because we've got only one option for this at the feminine form and it's set written like that set femme same thing here if you've got a word like organisation well it's the same in english so it starts with a vowel but it doesn't change anything for the feminine uh, demonstrative here okay set organisation set organisation and then plural so whether it's masculine, so we've got friends here at the masculine form, so masculine plural, and then friends here at the feminine plural form, okay? But then the 
adjectif démonstratif, here, as you can see, will be the same. Ses amis, ses amis. All right? And it's quite funny in a way because if you only listen to these two things, here, ses amis, and then ses amis, you don't have really any phonetical um, information regarding the fact whether it's masculine or feminine. That's the way it is. Sorry about that. But, so let's continue now with the uh, démonstratif. So we'll see now uh, the pronouns. Okay, so same thing. We'll see the masculin singulier, then féminin singulier, then masculin pluriel, and then féminin pluriel. Okay, so pronouns. Okay, so it does mean that you will have to use these pronouns instead of the name. Okay, so for the masculine form, we will have celui-ci and then celui-là. Okay, so we'll see the difference of use, but then celui-ci, celui-là. Uh, in English, it would be directly translated as this one. Okay, so you don't want to repeat uh, the name or uh, the thing that was previously stated, so you use this this one. Okay. In English, it's easier. In French, it's a bit more tricky because we will have this celui, okay? And then si and la. So you'll see that normally si is coming first and then la is coming next, okay? Celui-ci, celui-là, this one, all right? Same thing with the, the feminine form. Celle-ci, celle-là, all right? And then for the masculine plural ceci okay remember final x is not pronounced so you get the sound ce ceci and then ce là all right feminine plural celle-ci okay don't pronounce the final s celle-ci celle-là all right so let's see a few examples now so if you ask a question quel est mon livre okay what is my book or which one is my book? All right. And then the answer could be Votre livre, your book, c'est celui-ci. This one. Okay. Votre livre, c'est celui-ci. Okay. And then normally when you talk or when you say that, you tend to indicate that with your finger as well. So you point the book. Votre livre, c'est Celui-ci. Où est ma place? Where is my seat? Où est ma place? C'est celle-là. Okay. Same thing. You tend to point it at the same time. Okay. C'est celle-là. All right. So you've got to remember that we will have the difference between the masculine, the feminine. Okay. So singular and plural and then we'll have the difference between this C okay the first option the nearest one okay and then this la second option so it's not the nearest one okay so let's see and practice if it's okay with you then you can go to the next lesson and it's right here okay the website is here www.imagier.net have a great day. Bye-bye.